Hello, in this video we're going to look at the consumer's budget constraint by doing a word problem example. So Toby has income of $140 that he can spend on sparkling water at $8 per case or used video games at $20 per game. What is the equation for his budget constraint? So in general the budget constraint is just going to be the income equals the price of a good times the quantity of that good plus the price of the other good times the quantity of the other good. In this case our income is $140. The price of water is $8 so that's 8 times W where W is just the number of water cases. And then plus 20 times V. 20 is the price of video games and then we're going to multiply that by V the number of video games. So that is the equation for Toby's budget constraint. If Toby buys 10 cases of water, how many video games can he afford? We're just going to plug this 10 back into Toby's budget constraint and solve for V, the number of video games. So there's the budget constraint. W now takes on a value of 10. I could have put, picked another value, but 10 is as good as any. And we're going to solve this for V. Subtracting 80 from 140, 60 equals 20 V, and then 60 divided by 20. Toby could afford three video games if he buys 10 cases of water. So he spends $80 on water, the price times the quantity, plus $60 on video games, the price times the quantity. We could graph Toby's budget constraint. And what I like to do when graphing budget constraints is get the vertical intercept, the horizontal intercept. So the vertical intercept this value right here where the budget constraint touches the y-axis where we're measuring water in number, in number of cases is the amount of income Toby has divided by the price of water. So that's 17.5. So we have a vertical intercept of 17.5. The next thing I do is get the horizontal intercept. So that's down here where we're measuring number of video games. It's 7. How do we get that? Take the amount of income divided by the price of video games and we get seven. Then we just connect those two points and we have Toby's budget constraint. Just want to remind you that the slope of the budget constraint can be thought of as minus the price of video games over the price of water. So minus the price of the thing that we're measuring on the x-axis divided by the price of the thing that we're measuring on the y-axis. So the price of video games is $20 and the price of water is 8 So in our case, the slope is minus 2.5. Okay, moving on. A slight change. What is Toby's budget constraint if his income and all prices increase by 20%? So his new income is going to be 20% higher, which is 140 times 1.2. So that is a 20% increase in income. His new income is $168. The price of water, if that increases by 20%, will now be $9.60. And the price of video games, if that increases also by 20%, will be $24. His new budget constraint, therefore, will look like this. Income, price of water, times cases of water, plus the price of video games, times the number of video games. If Toby buys 10 cases of water, how many video games can he afford? As before, just plug this 10 into the budget constraint for water. And we're going to solve for V. 168 minus 96 is 72. And then dividing through by 24, 72 divided by 24 is 3. So Toby could afford 3 video games if he's buying 10 cases of water. You'll notice this is no different than before. If his income goes up by, 10, uh, by 20% and prices go all up by 20%, uh, he's no better off or worse off. His choice set is unchanged, in other words. So taking a quick look at his budget constraint, it will be unchanged. If he has $168 and he spends all his money on water at $9.60, he can afford still 17.5 cases of water. So that's the vertical intercept. On the other hand, if he has $168 and he spends that on video games at $24 each, at most he can afford seven video games, just as before. And you'll notice here the slope didn't change. 
still minus 2.5. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.